One of the things that interested me about being a pediatric orthopedic surgeon was that I could be a surgeon who operated on all kinds of different parts of the body and did lots of different surgeries. But over time, my practice has evolved to doing a lot of foot and ankle surgery. I just enjoy working with kids. I think they're fun and it's, uh, it's great to be every day in clinic. It's fun and I, I like helping children. And I mean, I think there's no more noble purpose in life probably than helping children. We really have this, this great team approach where I rely on experts like the physical therapists, sports dietitians, orthopedic surgeons. We kind of take a team approach to each patient. I see eight and nine-year-olds that have more of the fractures and kind of more minor injuries. And then I see some high school age teenagers who get into, into some of this overuse injury stuff that we're, we're actually seeing more and more of in the field of medicine or in sports medicine. I kind of think the most important guideline is you really want to use the my child bar for anything you recommend, anything you say, anything you do. Like if, if this was my child, would I find this to be acceptable? Pediatric orthopedics is wonderful because you get to do orthopedic surgery, which is something that I really love. And also I get to work with kids. I do a lot of trauma. So I see a lot of kids who have broken bones for one reason or another. And then another passion of mine is scoliosis. So a lot of my research is in scoliosis and how that affects a patient's outlook on their life and how they feel about either being braced or requiring surgery. Taking in the whole social aspect of what we're doing as physicians is really important. The most common operation we do on the spine is with an otherwise healthy teenager who has a progressive deformity of the spine. And we can generally make legs that are too short longer and legs that are too long shorter. And we can make arms that are crooked straight. And then we can make spines that are crooked straight. So I think the level of care is just superb here. I see both acute and chronic conditions. So things like fractures or knee pain or chronic issues such as overuse injuries or patients who come in and they've had you know, back pain for months. I love meeting new patients, but perhaps my favorite visit is that last appointment when I get to tell them, okay, you're clear to go back to playing soccer or playing baseball or football or whatever the sport may be. With children, the most common thing is an overuse injury. And that is they just push their bodies too hard and they don't get a chance to heal. The thing I like best is just fixing kids. It's such a rewarding thing to take a child or an adolescent who has a physical problem and we can make it better. I tell families all the time that it doesn't hurt my feelings for them to get a second opinion, that I want them to feel comfortable with the process that they've gone through to make a decision. And if that means seeing other people within the practice, great. If that means seeing somebody else outside the practice, great. Whatever it takes for them to feel like they've made the best choice for their child. I do a lot of scoliosis, which is the curve of the back, mainly in teenagers. I do a lot of trauma, so kids who fall off the monkey bars, hurt their leg going down a slide, a lot of cerebral palsy. The majority of patients I see are high school, junior high athletes that have sports injuries. There's always a lot of apprehension about, am I not going to be able to return to play sports? How far am I going to be out of sports? My job is to make sure that the kids are able to get back to their sport at a safe time. My areas of focus are in deformity correction and uh, neuromuscular conditions like cerebral palsy and spina bifida. I try to get the child involved uh, as early as I can because ultimately they're the one that's sort of being most directly affected. Depending on their age, it really varies. Some things, some are traumatic injuries, finger fractures, broken arms, ankle sprains. Some are the overuse injuries. We also venture into more of the medical part of things, concussion, overuse, burnout. I like my patients. I like getting to know them. I, you know, I actually, I work in the community I grew up in. I understand, I know their coaches, I know their, what they're about, I know their sports. Orthopedics is a great specialty because we get to take care of the whole body. We all have a specific specialty area of interest, mine is spine. I like it because it involves a great deal of craftsmanship. I get to use my hands, I get to see immediate results of what I do. And we're really about improving function in people's lives. I specialize in hip preservation, which aims at preserving the hip joint for as long as possible and to prevent arthritis of the hip. 
The younger the child is, usually the better the outcome for these types of procedures. So your bones, including your hip joint, they grow until your early adolescent years. Usually sometime in high school, your hips are fully formed. And so if you can get to a abnormal hip joint earlier on in life and get that hip joint to become normal earlier, then the prognosis is better. I think of sports medicine as a much more comprehensive, the entire athlete, how do they come? Because they don't always come to you with injuries. Sometimes they come to you with training issues, overuse issues. The biggest thing that gets me out of bed every morning that I really like doing is I just like taking care of patients and meeting families and meeting uh, patients with injuries and being part of a, of a team to help them get better, to meet their goals in life and to get back doing the things they like to do. So I think the patient interaction, the family interaction is probably the, the, the biggest plus about what I do.